guys welcome back to my channel this is Cox Gammon Ford of the Game Premier. now first off I would like to greet everyone a good day and uh, I know uh, people are starting to pile up uh, because of the loosen a little you know loosen on uh, restriction but we're not gonna talk about that we're gonna talk about video games technology and the things that I got for today you know um, things are getting so convenient like you have to just click on the screen and three to four days you'll have those packages unlike before you have to go out and hunt for that specific uh, things particular things and sometimes you have to jump from mall to another mall if they run out of stuff but nowadays just one click away anyway uh, going back to opening of the package I should say this is an unboxing video now I got uh, five packages that arrives today so we're just gonna open this no test yet probably uh, another video but today we're just gonna open this boxes okay here we go well the first one is not a box it's a plastic you know this is not a trash bag guys this is just um, uh, recyclable biodegradable I think so plastic from the seller all right now if you're asking what the heck is this now this is um, for my soldering iron I have this machine very helpful guys uh, trying to pick some consoles you know uh, I'm getting there I'm learning every day trying to uh, upgrade myself uh, regarding fixing electronics I do hope I will learn more about that but going back to this these are just um, uh, the pin soldering pin that we use for the PCB board you know those uh, uh, we call we usually call it the motherboard right uh, a lot of chips that you need to replace uh, uh, or just reflow it whatever that's the term uh, this is what we do or that this is what we use now sometimes it wears out a couple of um, uh, months of use usage they were they normally uh, wears out so we have to just replace it and you know I am really trying to say to you guys that I just you know one click away and I have this very convenient nowadays now going to the another package now this is a game this is a retro game I do hope I didn't flip where my information guys uh, <laughs> some privacy out there all right so here we go Now this is the official uh, courier, well, uh, at least in the Philippines. The people from the Philippines are used to that logo because of this uh, very popular uh, platform, shopping online platform. Okay, so here we go. This is a Nintendo Entertainment System cartridge. And uh, I guess you just saw that. <laughs> I'm just gonna open this at the back right here right now now here we go so this is Sh shark sky shark by Taito now this is like a 1942 I think 1942 game an airplane uh, shooter top view I think yeah top, the you know the arcade the, the arcade view the usual old school arcades out there so uh, I grab it because it's uh, cheaper now the seller has a lot of it it has a lot of NAS however uh, I came late so everything was uh, sold out not really uh, I saw this and a golf game so I, I didn't go for the golf game I just get this and the way the seller did is she or he just discounted it on a lowest price I am surprisingly 
copy when I saw it. It's really cheap. Well, if you're asking, am I going to collect this? Uh, no, I'm going to put it on the package when I try to resell consoles. I got two units of this. I'm gonna resell it, you know, to make another gaming uh, funds so we can roll that out and get a new things to flip or collect if I find something special. All right, so package number three. Package number three is another game. All right. Here we go. Okay. All right. Now I appreciate those sellers who use this kind of plastic. I'm not the kind of buyer that, you know, reacts on this. Uh, hey, it's a used uh, some uh, clothing line uh, cheap plastic. And no, I don't do that, guys. I, I like uh, when people are recycling, that's all right. Now, this package, you know, uh, spent three to four, sometimes five days on, uh, on, a, on a warehouse somewhere. So, if we talking about virus, I think it's all gone, you know. So, I, you know, I appreciate more if they recycle. Because I, uh, as a seller, I also recycle things. But that, I just uh, cut that out, so I'm just gonna throw this out. Okay, here we go. And bubble wrap, bubble wrap I would like to recycle this. However, um, this thing is dirty. I can feel the dust, so I'm not gonna use that. I mean, I'm not complaining on the recycled uh, plastic but if it's really as a seller's uh, standpoint if you're wrapping it with a dusty uh, bubble wrap or a plastic that's a turn off for a, for, for a buyer so you might get a lower star who knows so you better be careful here we go so make sure you clean it if you're going to recycle it guys now another Nintendo Entertainment System, very long uh, console name, but uh, in short it's NES, and this is a very good game, oh my gosh, let's just cut that out, right here, and in one piece, do not cut the label, my goodness, here we go. So this is Jackal by um, Konami and it's also um, a top view uh, game like an arcade top uh, view game it, it's more like uh, this 1942 or this uh, Sky Shark game but this is with the fighter plane and this is with uh, the Jeep and the best thing about this is two player so is that a seller or a keeper I think that one is a seller because I'm going to have uh, a package that uh, I'm gonna call it the two player package so if the buyer saw it and if it's a nice game you know you don't have to explain this if you're selling it out and you need to have a long uh, discussion or a long story long sentence on the description um, about this game you don't have to do that because people now are intent to uh, check this game and then google it and or YouTube YouTube it and they will get the gameplay and they will get interested and they will click the buy and then you'll be happy right all right so what's next something a little bigger and this is the box. Where is that? Okay. Here we go. Now I just pre-cut it. I just found out uh, on my video that I spent too much on cutting out those scotch, uh, scotch tape or those ducking tape. So I just pre-cut it and uh, this is nothing much. It's a controller but uh, I'm just going to show you what controller is it. Alright. I mentioned first the controller so i'm just gonna show the controller here 
All right. Controller. Okay. Oh, it's another GameCube controller. This is my favorite seller, guys. Look at him. Look at this. He really tried to protect this uh, joystick. I appreciate the effort. And if you are watching, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. He just put a an alcohol cap just to protect those. Wow. All right. I won't say it's you know overdoing it, but you know if, if as a seller you have to make sure your customers are always happy and the product should be protected all the time so thanks to you man and this one dude this is this is nice wow yeah very clean and uh, joystick is very responsive I think I don't have to replace that because sometimes when I purchase a second hand I have a replacement joystick from inside you know, I have to solder it and uh, create the... I have some custom buttons here that I can, you know, make a theme. What's popular, what's what's uh, what's hot right now. Uh, I got uh, some designs out there. So, thank you again. Controller. Oh, there's more. There's more on it. Alright, this is... Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Uh, this is, guys... A Nintendo 64 accessories. If you are a fo uh, a, fo a Pokemon uh, fan, this is the mic, and uh, this device is for the game Hey Pikachu. Uh, release. I don't know the date. I don't know the year, but um, uh, it's uh, it's for a Nintendo 64. And um, you can actually have a uh, voice command. You know, remember back in the days, a voice command on this. Uh, if a software can do that, that is huge. But today we got Siri, we got uh, Alexa, and um, those things are very helpful nowadays. Uh, but back then, there's some. I heard some a lot of, actually a lot of complaints about the the voice command that is not working because uh, the software I don't know if the engineers software engineers or those people who who created those are made those game intended for a voice of a kid so there's some uh, complaints from other you know gamers that the voice command is really off the hook but um, I guess uh, maybe that's that's why it doesn't sell that much around here. I don't know about uh, in the States, but in the Philippines, no, this is not popular to us. It doesn't reach Philippines about this microphone thing. And here is the mic. I won't open it yet, but if you want to see it, there's a Nintendo 64 there and then you just plug this cable there and you put the mic and this mic you put it on the controller and then you go just uh, hey Pikachu just uh, go over there or get that star or get that something and that is for kids voice and of course on a trailer I saw it an old trailer it works but on the review it only works with kids so yeah moving on and I think I got the last the last one and this one is a big box so I'm just gonna show the box and probably I'll just open it on my lap and show it on the table because we got a lot of things already here so here we go all right I don't know if I can fit this thing let me just move this thing Sorry guys. All right. So as usual, I already pre-cut it to save more time on the video, and uh, it's got 
light up. All right, and here we go. So I'm just gonna remove the box. And here we go. I'm just gonna cut it. I hope I didn't cut any wires in there. Oh! What are you what are you seeing right now? Black box with a blue line or a blue square out there. What do you think guys? Oh This is you know what it is. You know what it is? It's the PlayStation 2 Fat. Now the reason why I bought this is I'm going to try to fix it. Uh, she sold me on a good deal. Yeah, fair, fair enough for a defective uh, unit so I got the fat uh, I think this is uh, a PAL PAL version European version but I think uh, guys um, we have this uh, you know uh, this mod community They're, they already uh, did some good things uh, on this uh, forgotten uh, PS2. They tried to revive this using those uh, SATA hard drive, but you know, in this channel, we don't use that. We just, uh, as a seller, I'm just gonna fix this, fix the lens. Oh no, the problem of this, it doesn't power up. So I'm just gonna fix that, uh, calibrate the lens, and that's it. I'm just gonna sell it out in the market, but I'm not promoting any, you know piracy mod modification now I'm just gonna fix it like a stock version and then sell it in the wild okay so there's another one there's another one on the box and if you're going to check this out you will see a smaller and by the way guys when I choose because this one is on the screen so what I'm what I always ask to a seller is to take a picture closer to it uh, because um, if he or she is confident enough to show the things that uh, she sells she will do it right away but you know some sellers are really shady so you better watch out for that uh, this one this fat version she was so friendly she just uh, snapped a picture and I saw it it's kind of smooth of course it's not perfect it's a used uh, PS2 but I like the way it looks it looks viable you know really still good okay so here's another one what is this oh okay so this is the DS light DS light I'm just gonna check that out later uh, I think she told me that this there's a screen problem on top but this one is okay I'm planning to uh, experiment do the macro version of it but who knows uh, I'll uh, once I'm done uh, I will uh, create a video about this because I might uh, fix the upper screen but if not if it's too damaged I will just um, make it to a macro Game Boy all right yep pretty uh, beat up but uh, you know there's a lot of uh, generic uh, screens out there or shell I can just replace that refurbish this thing all right okay there's another one here what do we have here okay so this my friends okay 
So this is the little brother, right? It's the little bro. What's up, little bro? So it's the PS2 Slim. Now this is the matte finish. And I also heard about uh, if this is the piano shiny thing, uh, that is really hard to fix. But if it's the matte one, uh, I'll have a chance. That's what I heard. But I'm going to do some research, more research about this uh, PS2 Slim. It's uh, really a different component. Everything is really narrowed down to this small. Look at this, look at the size of this. Back in the days, you know, when I was on PS2, I got this version. Now, uh, I already passed it, and then when they released this, I'm not onto PS2 no more. So I just missed this out. And by the way, the problem of this uh, slimmer version, look at the comparison of that. Let me just show you first. Look at this thing, All right? Big Papa, small baby, All right? But if you're going to ask me, this is more reliable because it has a better vent uh, ventilation. So that's also a problem. Uh, I think there's a lot, there's some uh, heat uh, issue about the slim version. All right. So uh, the problem with this, going back to the, the problem, uh, it doesn't read uh, games. It doesn't read games. So I'm just gonna try it tonight. Check this out. Maybe it's just a, a lens calibration and I can fix it. Good for me, right? Now, I also saw the condition of this from the picture and I think it's it's tolerable in my eyes so I think I can sell this out all right so I'm not gonna show you those cables uh, those are pretty uh, normal uh, we got the audio video cable back there and the, the, the adapter it has this one has an adapter and this fat has the standard cable you know, those regular cables uh, as long as it fits in there but of course I do have some spare ones so this one this this slim uh, PS2 came with the, the accessories with the controller but this one is unit only so I'm okay I can buy those accessories outside all right let me just double check if we got something here yeah, if we got uh, some things that I might forget on this video sorry about that and this is the other one Gonna show the whole thing guys so you got the cable controller I hope this is an original controller uh, maybe I'll put it on description if I get the fake one or the original one I think it's the original one it's kind of heavy and it has this uh, nub right here uh, I do hope so okay so that's all I got if you want to see a closer look at this for the last time it's a DuckTales for Game Boy, I don't know, I love DuckTales. So when I saw it on her list, I just checked that out. And then uh, I'll put this probably on my collection. This is not this, this is not a seller, this is a keeper. It's really a nostalgic uh, game. Back in the days, I used to play this a lot, DuckTales, love the game. So that's all I got for today. And if you finish the, the, the video up to this end, I appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, if, a new, if you're a newcomer, if you like this kind of videos, trying to unbox and then I fix some things, I put it on the video. I also uh, uh, review old school games, new school games on the Gamepreneur, just subscribe please <laughs> and to my subscribers out there just hang in there 
So every time uh, I have a new video, just uh, keep watching, guys. Thank you. Appreciate you for for supporting me. And I'll uh, end this video for now. I'll be back for another episode of the Game Premiere. This is Cox Cameron Ford. You have a good one.